in this season. Please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. You got to tell them for yourself.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we just want to lift you up and glorify you on today because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are great and you are great to be praised. And there is none other like you, God, in all the earth. You are truly one of a kind, God. And we just want to glorify you on today, God. We don't want to be cheating you out of no praise and worship on today, Father God. But we want to worship you in spirit and in truth, Father God, with our whole hearts, body, mind, soul, and with all our might. Oh God, we just want to glorify you right now and let you know just how much you mean to us, Lord. We dare not, Father God, be modest or too cute worrying about who doing it and who ain't, what they wearing and what they doing. But right now, Father God, we're just going to concentrate on you, Lord. We're going to lift you up on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we dare not exalt anything, anybody higher than you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Because you are the one true and living God. And we just want to glorify you. We want to tell you right now, Father God, that we know who you are, God. We acknowledge you on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus as being the very source and the very essence of our being, God. We want to give it to you right now, Father Father God, in the name of Jesus, because it is due you. We want to give it to you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we delight in doing so. We don't want to do it, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we think it was required. We don't want to do it, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we were told to do it. We don't want to do it, Father God, because we heard somebody talking about doing it. But we want to do it, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we delight in doing so. I hear a little go see. Oh God, we just want to go you and lift you up, Lord. We dare not exalt anything in anybody higher than your God. We dare not allow that situation, that concern, that problem, that worry, or even that challenge, Father God, to consume us and cause us to be in a place of being stricken in our mind and in our heart. We dare not allow any sickness, Father God, in the name of Jesus to overtake our bodies, God, because we know, Lord, that if we are in your presence, God, no sickness could dwell in your presence. Lord, we know, God, if we lay at your feet, God, nothing can come in there, Father God, that's contrary to your will or to your way. So we're going to bless you on today, God, and we're going to empty ourselves out on tonight, Lord. We're going to give you all these things, God. We're going to cast our cares on you because we know that you care for us. Uh, we're going to lay these things down at your feet on today, God. Uh, we're going to empty out our mask, God, that we could just concentrate on you. Uh, we're going to empty out our hearts, God, uh, that you may be able to take residence in the inside. Uh, we're going to allow our bodies, God, uh, to be a sacrifice unto you, God, uh, that you may habitate inside of us, Lord. Uh, oh, God, we're going to glorify you. Uh, we're going to bow down to you, God. Uh, we're going to lift you up because you are worthy. Uh, we're going to give you our best praise. Uh, we're going to give you our best worship. Uh, we're going to give it to you, God, because that's why you created us. Uh, you created us to worship your God uh, with the very fruit of our lips. Uh, you created us, God, uh, for your very pleasure. Uh, so we're going to give you that sound. Uh, we're going to make some noise for you tonight, God, uh, that we may get your attention. Uh, we're going to tell you how much we love you. Uh, we're going to tell you how much we adore you. Uh, we want you to endow us on tonight, God. Ah, because you're worthy, God. There's nobody else, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and nothing else, God, that we would exalt higher than your Lord. We're going to pour down any and everything, Father God, that has caused us to be consumed in our minds. We're going to pour down any and everything, Father God, that has caused our hearts to be hard. We're going to tear down them strongholds and them walls of captivity in the inside of us, God. We're going to pour down all these things right now, God. That you may be able to handle this. Handle this situation that's inside of us. Handle this situation that's on our minds. Handle that thing, Father God, that in your coast, shut it like I see you. And move some things out the way. We're trusting and believing that you can do it. Because we know that you are able and you are even capable. We know that your arms are not slack and neither are they short. We know, 
Father God, who you are. And we know that you are concerned about us. We know that you are he who was, who is, and who is to come. There is nobody that is greater than you. Nobody can stand before you. They cannot compare, and neither can they equal to your sovereignty, God. Oh, God, you are great. You are great, God. And we just want to bless you. We just want to bless you on today, Father God. And we want to bow down to you. We want to bow down to you, Father God, because you are worthy of it. We want to bow down to you on today, Father God, because we know and recognize that you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. And you are great. And you are greatly to be praised. We just want to give it to you on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Because we love you. We love you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we may not have told you as often as we should. We may not have told you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And if you go shut it like I see ya. Oh God, but be a ka shut it like I see ya. Oh God, but we're gonna bless you right now. We're gonna bless you right now, God. We're not gonna hold nothing back, Lord. We're gonna give it to you, God, because you're worthy. We're going to concentrate on you, God, because you're worthy. We're going to love on you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we love you, O Son, that I can see. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to give it to you right now, God, because you're the local sea. I get a local shot, and I can see ya. Oh, God, he come to the local shot, and I can see ya. Take it, and I need a local sea ya. Oh, God, you do so much. You do so much, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and we want to honor you. We want to honor you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. He come to the local sea. I get a local shot, and Oh, God, we just want to honor you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because you are worthy of it. Oh, Lord, I be okoshia to na na And we want to tell you just how much we love you, God, because we don't tell you enough. We don't tell you enough, Father God. We're not even mindful, Father God, of the things that we do not do enough for you and unto you, Father God. Oh, God, he come to loco, shut it in la Oh, God, we're going to open up our hearts right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we're going to empty out ourselves completely and in totality. We're not going to have a hard heart. We're not going to have a stiff neck. We're not going to be rebellious, Father God, in the name of Jesus. But we're going to do what is required of us, Father God. And if by chance don't nobody want to do it, God, I do it all by myself because I know that you are worthy of it, God. And I want to do it, Father God, because I want to be delightful in your sight, God. I want it to be a sweet savor into your nostrils, Lord. And I want to do it, Father God, with any and everything in me and every muscle and every fiber in my being, God. Because you are worthy of it You say we ought to love you like that So I'm going to love you like that And I'm going to tell you just how much I adore you I'm going to tell you just how much you mean to me Father God in the name of Jesus Because nobody else Father God in the name of Jesus Can do me like you do Nobody else Father God in the name of Jesus Nobody else Father God in the name of Jesus Nobody else Father God in the name of Jesus Oh, God, there's so many times, Father God, that we put so much stuff in, in, in over and before you, Father God. But right now, we're going to pull it down, God. Any crown we ever want, we lay at your feet. Any title we ever attain, we lay it at your feet. Any position we ever accomplish, God, we lay at your feet. We lay it down the sickness, the worries, the problems, the concerns, Father God, the challenges. We're laying down that financial difficulty on today, Father God. We're laying down that thing, Father God, that causes us to be grudging and hateful towards one another, Lord. We're going to give it all to you you on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we don't want to have these seeds lying within us, God. We don't want to have these seeds, Father God, in the name of Jesus, taking root inside of us, Lord. So we're coming to you on today, Father God, not just lifting you up, but we're crying out to you, asking you to help us, God. Help us to be what you want us to be, God. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, not to be our own selves, God, that you can be God in our lives, God. Oh, God, we're asking you to overturn some things on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because it's a root going out, God. And that very ruling, Father God, in the name of Jesus is not in the favor of your people, Lord. So I'm asking you right now, Father God, to overturn some things, Father God. Oh, God, and do not delay things, 
for the righteous are because of the wicked. Oh God, I'm crying out for you right now. Be your coach. I did it like I see. That you would dispatch these things, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they may become visible, God. That they may be manifested in our lives, God. That they may become in actuality on today, God. And I'm asking you to remove any doubt, any hesitation, Father God, and any video of course, Sunday, the local sea. Let not your people waver. Let not your people doubt. Let not your people second guess your word, God. Because we know that your word is true, Father God. And if you said it, it's just simply yes and amen. If you spoke it, Father God, it got to go out and do and perform that thing that you set it out to do. Oh, God, but we're going to wait. We're going to wait on you, Father God, and we're not going to put our hands to it. We're going to wait on you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and we're not going to mess anything up. Because we know that you know what is best for us, Father God. And even though that we think that we can handle it, even though that we think that we can fix it, oh, God, I'm asking you right now to help us, Father God, just take our hands off of it, step back and move to the side that you may be able to get past because we don't want to tie your hands behind your back, God. We want you to be loosed in our lives, Father God. We want you to be loosed in our hearts, Father God. We want you to be loosed in our minds, Father God. And we ask you to loose some things within our lives on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm standing in the gap for your people on today, God. I'm standing in the gap for Erica on today, Father God. I'm asking you to come in your blood and out of me on your cross and let your will be done within our life, God. Let her not be so easily moved, Father God, or even convinced or persuaded, Father God, to do that thing that they won't get when they do a But let her, Father God, stand on your will and on your word, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the knowing, Father God. Oh God, touch her right now in our heart and even in our mind, Father God, that she may do the thing that is required of her, God. Touch her in our heart and our mind on today, God, that you would turn her from being reprobate, God. Touch her in our mind and our heart on today, Father God. That she will go back to her original state, Father God, as you designed her in a very womb of her mama's belly. I'm asking you to touch Eric on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, cover your blood and hide it behind your cross, God, and remove any and every addiction, Father God. Uh, touch her in our mind, Father God, and give us some stability, even in our mentality state, God. Uh, that she will not be in that place of wanting to commit suicide. Uh, that she will not be in that place, Father God, of thinking and believing that she can find love, Father God, and comfort in drugs and drinking. Uh, Oh God, I'm asking you to touch her on today. Sever any regrets that she may have within her heart, Father God. And let her know that if there's nobody else love her, God, you love her. Oh God, sever that spirit of lying and dishonesty on today, Father God. That your will will be done in her life, Lord. Let her embrace you even more, Father God. I'm asking you to even touch Christian on today, God. Touch her in your mind and her heart on today, Father God. Let your will be done within her, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And let her go and allow her to be a smooth transition. Oh God, I'm asking you to do it on today. I'm asking you to do whatever you desire to happen, Father God. I'm asking you to touch your people on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus that they may have a heart of absolutions. Give them a heart of absolutions and sever their spirit of fear, God. Let them not be fearful of anything, Father God, because that's the God of your coach shot that it like I see. Oh God, I'm asking you to give your people the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding that they need, God. That they will not be running around in a cycle uh, repetitively Father God uh, all because it's hard for them to be in the midst of the processing now uh, oh God I'm asking you right now Father God uh, that you will set us a peace even within the hearts of your people Father God uh, uh, root that hard heart on today Father God uh, and give your people a heart of flesh God uh, that everything that you say speak Father God and even show your people Father God uh, it'll stimulate some things change some things and simply rearrange some things uh, I'm asking you to remove any and everything from the hearts of your people, Father God, that's causing them to be stagnated, Father God. Uh, remove these things that causes them to be easily beset. Uh, I'm asking you to remove any jealousy, envious, is backbite, tailbearing, covenant, lashes, malicious, is a vain hate, any bitterness, fornication, masturbation, any vain thinking, foul thinking, perverted thinking, uh, any hateful thinking, pointing finger, wagging the hands. Uh, remove that spirit of covenant on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, remove that lusty demon on today, God. Uh, remove that greedy demon and that selfishness on today, Father God, uh, I'm asking you to serve that spirit of pride and heartiness, Lord. Uh, I'm asking you to pour down that dainty spirit, God. Uh, I'm asking you to give us a heart of absolution and forgiveness on today, God. Because if we do not forgive one another, God, you said you will not forgive us. Uh, I'm asking you to help us on today, God. Uh, write your words upon the tables of our heart, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and even bind them about our neck. Uh, that everything that we speak, Father God, it will be pleasing in your sight. Uh, I'm asking 
to you right now, Father God, to put clothes of fire on our tongue, Father God, and guard our mouths for us, Lord. Uh, because we cannot tame it on our own, God. We need your help. Uh, I'm asking you to open up our hearts so today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and instill your love, God. Uh, not the kind of love that we think we should have or what we should do, Father God. Uh, but the kind of love, Father God, that you ordained from the very beginning. Uh, I'm asking you to reconcile that marriage on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and sever that spirit of division. Uh, I'm asking you to reconcile that family, and sever that spirit of separation. Uh, I'm asking you to do it on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because I know that you can. Uh, I know that you will. Uh, I'm asking you to sever that spirit of shame and embarrassment on tonight, Father God, uh, that your people, Father God, will come together collectively, that we may edify God, uh, that we may lift one another up, God, uh, that we may help one another, even if it's a good deal, uh, give us a heart to accept correction. Uh, give us a heart to accept rebuke. Uh, give us a heart to accept the bad as well as the good. Uh, oh, God, I'm asking you to help us on today, God. Uh, help us not to be stricken in our thoughts, Father God, even from the things of our past, Lord. Uh, I'm asking you to sever the past on tonight, God. Uh, remove that thing right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because it does not even exist anymore. And neither can we get a do-over. Oh God, I'm asking you to help us on today, God. I'm asking you to help us on today, Father God, not to even be ashamed of you as we go on our jobs, God. As we travel the highways and the byways, God, let us speak of your wondrous works. As we minister to your people, Father God, even if it's in the leisure conversation, God, let us talk about your goodness, Lord. Oh God, even on our jobs, God, even in our homes, God, even when we go into the store, God, give us an opportunity to minister to somebody, Father God, and even invite them into your presence. Uh, oh God, I'm asking you to help your people, God. Uh, let them embrace their divine destiny in you, Father God, and let them know, Father God, uh, that long suffering comes along with it. Uh, and let them know, Father God, that you are the one, Father God, uh, that gives them assurance in the making of it all. Uh, oh God, I'm asking you to help us all tonight, Father God. Uh, help us right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we will not have a grudge, Father God, thinking and believing that people are doing certain other things unto us intentionally, God. Uh, let us not lean to our own understanding, God. But give us more of a man like you, Father God. That we will not lead to our own understanding, God. Causing ourselves to lie within our own selves. Seven that spirit of bewitchment. Seven that spirit of heresies. Seven that spirit on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus that we may come together collectively and not deprive ourselves of the assembling and the fellowship. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Not to be so prideful within our own selves, God that we cannot confess our faults, God. That we will be so embarrassed, God, that we will not speak about it. But seven these things, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you may be able to make us whole. Oh, God, I'm asking you to help us on today. Help us to be more concerned about one another, Father God, instead of just our own selves and our own circle. Seven that mentality of having to respect a person. Seven right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we will not look at people funny. That we will not be sarcastic and act all disregarding and concerning your word. Help us on today, Father God. Help us right now, Father God, to be at peace with one another, Lord. Help us to have a pleasantry with one another, God. Help us to simply have a mind and a heart to want to listen instead of being so quick to speak. Help us on tonight, Father God. I'm standing in the gap for every nation, every tongue, every religion, and every deal. Oh, God, that you would touch them. Touch them and turn them unto you, God. Because Buddha can't save them, God. Confucius can't save them, God. None of those other gods, Father God, that they have made, even with hands, God, can put them in heaven or hell. But it's only you, Father God, that hold all power in your hand. Open up the eyes of your people, Father God, that they may know that it's not Allah, but it is Jesus. Help us on today, Father God. Help us right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and seven that spirit of fear, that we won't be so fearful to speak of your glorious words, God. Help us, God. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to even teach our children the way to go, God. Help us on today to be even reconciled with our children, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Sever that spirit of regret, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and even manipulation, God. Sever that illicit spirit. Oh, Jesus. Any addictions, God. 
Anything that is causing us, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to do things that is contrary to your will and contrary to your way, Father God, I'm asking you to remove it out of our very thoughts, Lord. Regulate our minds on today, Father God. Help us to be renewed in our minds, Father God. Let us submit and commit ourselves unto you in totality, God, and not just for a second, not just for a season, God, and not looking for a reason or something in it. Oh, God, but heal your people, God. Heal your people, God. Even within their own selves, God. That they would Let them not cleave to the dust. Sever that spirit of lying and dishonesty on today, God. Give us a fresh breath, Lord. A new anointing. Consider all the prayers that's going up to you, Father God. Even if they are secret, hidden in our hearts, not spoken out of. They are even thought, Father God. I'm asking you to consider and even remove the hidden motives behind these prayers, Father God. In the name of Jesus, that your people will learn and understand that an effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man of fellow man. Not saying that they are just so righteous, but they have the right mind, the right attitude, and no hidden motives. God, help your people to understand your word. God, continue to open up the revelation of your word, God, that even as I stand before your people, God, I will be able to help them, Father God, to understand these things clearly, God, that they will not be lost. Oh, God. Oh, my mind, Dispatch your angels on our behalf on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and encamp them in the sanctuary, east, west, north, and south, from the root to the very foundation around the entire perimeter. Let them stay, God, and take watch over us tonight, Father God. Let no her harm and danger come around us before it even cross our path, Father God. Oh God, we're asking you to enter in on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We're giving you an invitation, not just to enter into this building, but enter into our mind, our hearts, our bodies, our souls. Oh God, we're asking you, Father God. To, to be in our midst, Lord, because you say we're two or three of God that you are there. Oh God, and I believe any and everything that you say on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you to even touch Monique on tonight, God. Come in your blood and how to be on your cross and give her a heart of acceptance on today, God. It's some things that she have hidden down inside of her heart, Father God, that's simply a lie. It's some secrets that she have kept, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that's simply a lie. Lord, I'm asking you to give her that spirit of honesty that she may accept these things, God, and simply tell the truth. Let her not go to her grave, Father God, with these lies. Let her not go to her grave, Father God. God, with her way we're thinking, Father God. He cut the local sea. Oh God, but let her accept you and into the local sea. I take care the local sea. That your will will be done within her life on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And give her that love that she needs inside of her heart, Father God. Even towards her own children, Father God. Let there be no subiocal sea. I take cut the local sea. But touch Jeremy on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. He cut the local sea. He cut the local shunned in the sea. Come remember. Take them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Mama, Oh, Baba, Oh, God, I'm standing in the gap for my nephew Jeremy right now, God. He got the locosia. Oh, God, that you will protect them and sever any and every addiction, Father God. Any and every vain and evil and wicked thought that he have, Father God, in order to get gained, God. Lord, I'm asking you to touch him in his mind and give him some stability in his thoughts on today, Father God. That he won't be so offensive and even defend others, Father. Yo, go, son, the local sea. Oh, God, I'm asking you to help him out today, Father God. Give him all the absolutions. Give him all the forgiveness, Father God. Let him not lean to his own understanding. Sever that violent spirit, God, and that spirit of hostility on today, Father God. Oh, God, I'm asking you, Father God, to even reconcile and cook the local sea. The relationship between him and his mother, Monique, God. Let your will be done within that family on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. They did and sever down that pride sever it right now Father God in the name of Jesus that they may come into the fullness of your glory God you know any and everything that your people need Father God I'm asking you to touch all her children Father God and even 
Calvin Jr., Lord. Touch him in his mind and even in his heart, Father God. Touch Calvin C. or V. Ocosia. Take care of Ocosia. That he may surrender himself unto you, Father God. And you tear down any and every stronghold out of his body and his mind. And that spirit of lasciviousness, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And, and praying on the children, Father God, sexually, God. That molesting spirit, God. I'm asking you to sever it right now, Father God. And give him a heart of repentance, Father God. To confess and admit these things. God, that he needs your help. Oh, God, I'm asking you to touch Derek on tonight, Father God. Touch him in his mind and even in his heart, God. You know any and everything that he needs and what he will be. Oh, God, but I'm asking you, I got shot in the local sea. Seven days, ten years, I shot in the local sea. Oh, God, that they will not look for revenge. Oh, Help us, Father God. Touch Jamaica, Father God, in her situation. You know any and everything that she is going through and even experiencing, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And continue to look up to you, God. And I'm asking you to show her favor. Regulate the minds of your people, Father God, concerning her situation, God. I'm asking you to even touch your Monica and her family on tonight, Father God. Give them a heart of acceptance, Father God, even concerning her father, Father God. As he got your co-sign and make it take hold on that little see Oh, God, let your will be done within their lives, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and give them the clarity, Father God, that they will not, Father God, because he are constantly little Koshana. Oh God, I'm asking you to touch Rodney on Kosia, Nidid on Kosia. Touch Rodney on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and even in his mind, in his heart, Father God. Give him stability even in his thoughts on today, Father God, that he will not have that deranged spirit, Lord. Oh God, I'm asking you to sever these spirits, Father God, to try to attach themselves to your people, God, and give them the discernment that they may be able to recognize them and then Lord give them the Diokosi, a hot little the wisdom and teach their hands of war and their fingers of fight, Father God, that they may know and understand, God, that the weapons of their warfare are not carnal, God, but they are spiritual, Lord. Oh God, I'm asking you to touch right now, Father God, and refill your people with your Holy Spirit, God, that they may have that keeping power, Lord, and that they will not continue, Father God, to be a Kasane de Touch every leader, Father God, from the president all the way down to every Okosha. Touch him in his mind and even in his heart, God, and overturn some hidden motives that he have even in the like I see. Oh God, you know, Father God, I'm asking you that touch your people, Father God, and allow the transfusia to get the local sea to take place, Lord. Oh God, I'm asking you to do it. I'm asking you to do it on today, Father God, because I know that you can restore that backslide of Father God into their proper place and in their proper position, Father God, that they will not continue, Father God, to be way with God and doing the things that they want to do, God, but let them come unto you and return unto you, Father God, lifting up their hands and asking you what must they do to be saved. Restore that backslide and even that way with person, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and give them that faithfulness towards you, Father God. Overturn some things in their lives on today, Father God, in the name name of Jesus. He can little loco see And even touch a Robinson family on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. He can little loco see Mother Robinson and Thelma and Crystal, Father God, and even India, Father God, and all and everybody that's attached to them, Father God, I'm asking you to touch that family and even in situation, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for you know any and everything that they are going through individually, Lord. You number the hairs on their heads. You even know them by their name. Lord, I'm asking you to touch right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. He I'm asking you to touch El Zorro tonight, Father God, and remove any excess fluid, God, that she may carry even in her lower extremities, Father God, that it will not trap up to her heart, God, and drown her in her lungs. Oh, God, I'm asking you to sever it. And I know, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you could dry it up, Lord, because you dried up the Red Sea, the Jordan River, and even the woman with the issue of blood not to talk, how you dried up all that stuff, the Ocosia, that tried to dwell with within me, Father God. Let not the fluid overtake your people, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Even in their lungs, I rebuke pneumonia on tonight, Father God. Touch your respiratory system, Father God, that your people may be able to breathe appropriately, Father God. That your people will have ready rapid breathing, Father God. And not 
short breaths, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to touch right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, even Shania, God. Touch her, Father God, in even her situation and her circumstance, Lord. She have already made a petition on you know any and everything that she have asked you to do for her, Father God. I'm asking you to show favor right now, Father God, and shift some things in her behalf, Father God. And let your will be done within her life, Father God. Comfort her right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And even lift her up even the more. Touch each and every last one of her children, destiny, harmony, and even journey, Father God. Remove any sickness and flame and congestion out of their chest and out of their hearts on today, God. I'm asking you to heal the babies on today, God. I know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask, seek, or imagine. And I'm standing in the gap for your people on today, God. Touch Ray Kale, God, even as she traveled the highway in the byways. Touch her mother on today, Father God. And sever any and every sickness that's trying to overtake her body, God. I'm asking you to restore her, Father God, and even give her an appetite, God. I'm asking you to help her on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, overturn something, but only if it's according to your will. Oh God, I'm asking you to touch K. Reese on tonight, Father God. You know any and every sickness that's inside of her body, God. I'm asking you to heal, deliver, and set her free, Father God, and let us stand on your word. Touch your call where family on tonight, God. Touch that marriage, God. Let your will be done within that marriage, Father God. And I'm speaking against separation. I'm speaking against divorce. I'm speaking against it right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. But according to your will and to your purpose, I don't know what you gotta teach, Jason. I don't know how you're going to teach them. But how and where or where you're going to do it, Father God? I'm asking you to do it and do it quickly. Oh God, that he may line up with your will and the of course, and that he may simply embrace your way. I'm asking you to touch your riches and family, even in the midst of the marina. Touch back on tonight, Father God. Touch her right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and release her very heart. Let her not try to make it happen on her own. Let her not be a concern that it'll go see. Uh -huh. Let her remove the conditions on tonight, God. Uh -huh. That your will will be done within her heart. Uh -huh. Sever that spirit of anxiety uh -huh. and give her the patience that she needs, Father God. Uh -huh. That she may receive any and everything that you have for now, Lord. Oh, God. Heart Breathe on us, God. Breathe on us, Lord, right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Give us a fresh breath, God, a new anointing. Let our will be lined up with your will, that your perfect will would be done in our lives, God, that we would be walking in your will and not our own will. Sever that self-will spirit on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we may recognize, God, that you know what is best for us, Lord, because you said you got a plan for us, Lord, that is good and it is not evil. And God, we want to open up our hearts that we may accept it on tonight, God. We want to open up our minds that we may accept it on tonight, God. And even though it may be tight, God, we know that it's right because you know what is best for us, God. Let us not fall into that place of loneliness and destitution in our minds, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to fill our minds, Father God, with the fruits of your spirit. Fill our hearts on today, Father God, with the fruits of love. Oh, God, I'm asking you to help us on today, Father God, even to check our attitudes, God, even before we speak, Lord. Oh, God, I'm asking you right now that you would allow it to be a pleasantry with one another, God, that we won't be so quick to get offended, Father God, and want to argue and fight and scream and yell and holler. Oh, God, I'm asking you right now to touch Touch the marriage, Father God. Touch the marriage and life to the Ocosia. Take care of the Ocosia. Hey, even in their home, like God. Touch Miss Daisy on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And, and stabilize her equilibrium, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that she can have more balance, God. Stabilize her sugar, the Ocosia, the Ocosia. And every blood disorder, Father God, that's trying to travel through her veins and her body, God. Give her the man, Father God, that she needs to simply trust you and believe you, Father God. And whatever it is that you desire for her life to take 
take place in the next 30 days, God. I'm asking you to allow it to transpire, your Father God, in the name of Jesus. And get the people a heart to accept these things, Lord. Oh, God, I'm asking you, Father God, that you would allow your peace to rest rule in the back within Harvestside Ministries International, God. Remove any semi-okosia to keep the locosia. And help your people, Father God, to the okoshande de la kasi. You know any and everything, Father God, that you have designed, planned, and even fashioned for this ministry, God, because it is yours, God. I offer it back unto you constantly, every day, God, because it's not about me, Lord. It's all about you, Lord. And I want to lift you up. I want to glorify you, God, because there is nobody that is greater than you. There is nobody that can compare. There is nobody that is equal to you. And even though people may not understand my actions or decisions that I make or the things that I do, Father God, it's okay, Lord. I give myself unto you, Father God, and you are authorized in my life, Lord. Oh, God, I constantly, daily die before you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, surrendering myself unto you in totality, God, because I do not want to miss the mark, God. Oh, Lord, I'm asking you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, because I desire the more of your I dare not get complacent, Father God, or comfortable where I'm at, God. And even if you allow it to be a discomfort in my life, Father God, I know that you're going to take me through, God. I know that you are able to do exceedingly above me, above all I can ask, speak, or even imagine, Lord. I know that you are able. Touch Leo on tonight, Father God. Touch him in his body and even in his mind, God, and kept your angels around him, Father God. Even concerning his marriage, God, and whatever it is that you desire for that marriage, God, I'm asking you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to give him a heart of acceptance, God, that he will not be in a danger zone, God, concerning this thing. Lord, I'm asking you to even touch his wife on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and stay her hand, Father God, from doing wicked and evil, Lord. Touch his children and kept your angels even around his children and even touch Priscilla and all her other siblings, Father God that your will will be done within their lives on today, God. Let her not have an opinion, listen, spirit, point her finger, nor wag her head, God. Let her continue to try and press the words of my Father, God, and even give her a heart of obedience. Give her a heart, Father, God, that she will line up with your will and your way and do what you desire her to do, Father, God. Oh, God, suffer the spirit of rebellion on today, and even touch her son, Tyrone, Father, God, and even Hezekiah, Lord. Touch her right now, Father, God, even my children, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You say that you were going to save him, God. I don't know when or how, God, but I'm standing on Kosia, standing in a gap for him right now, Father God, that you will continue to shower them on today, Father God, with your protection, God. Sever any and every addiction, Father God, and even my grandchildren, God. Protect them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they will be in a proper state, in their original mind, God, that you have ordained them to be, Father God, and that they will not be wayward or lost, Father God. Open up their hearts, God, that even as they come into the sanctuary, God, that they will be thirsty for you, Father God, to even know the more of you, Father God. Oh, Lord, I'm asking you right now, and I'm standing in the gap for every child in the ministry, God, whether they come often or whether they don't, Lord. I'm asking you to touch even their mothers, Father God, that they will bring them into the sanctuary, God. I'm asking you to touch their mothers, that they will even bring themselves into the sanctuary, God, that they may hear your truth and accept your truth, God, even in the parenting area, God. Oh, Lord, I'm asking you to touch even the grand parents, Father God, that they would not get so self-righteous and prideful, Father God, thinking and believing that they know it all, God. He go now, my name can't take no, no, my God. Oh, God, move some things right now, Father God, even concerning Ashley, Father God, and the very desires of our heart, God. I'm asking you to continue to hear her body on today, God. Regulate her mind on today, God. Regulate any and every blood disorder that she has, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and drop any and all fluid, God, that she will not be your Oh, God, you made her some promises, Father God. I'm asking you to allow these things to become an actuality on tonight, Father God. Lord, I'm asking you to touch even Aisha on tonight, Father God. And even Luz Ante and Dante, Father God, touch my grandchildren, God. Even though they are a thousand miles away, Lord, and kept your angels around them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and protect them, God, that no hurt, harm, and danger come before them, around them, near them, even cross their path, God. Protect them from that pedophile, that bully, and even that mean man, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to help them on today, Father God, and even stabilize their mentality, stay God. Oh, my mind, little local I'm asking you to touch Marilyn and her situation, Father 
Father God, and even all three of her autistic sons, God. Touch them in their minds and their hearts on today, Father God, and give her the patience, God. Touch them with her attitude, Father God, and let her not continue to practice the things that she's been practicing, Father God. Let her surrender it all unto you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and let her turn from her wicked ways, God. Oh, Lord, I'm crying out for your people on today, Father God. Oh, God, that you would change the minds of your people, God. Change your hearts of your people on today, Father God. Oh, God, that we will seek your face, Father. We will pray, God, and we will turn, Lord. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to bend the knee before you, Father God. Reverence in you, Father God, and acknowledge you, you at the Ocosi, as being the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, God. You are the very source of it all, Father God. Help us on today, Father God, to even forgive our parents if we still got some hidden animosity within our hearts on today, God. We want to release all these things on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we will not be in a place of stagnation within our own selves and separating ourselves from you. Help us on today, God. Touch my aunt Shirley Ann on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And continue, Father God, to give her a heart of flesh. Continue, Father God, to give her a heart of forgiveness, God. And even touch my cousin, Father God, Kizzy, on tonight, God. Even in the midst of her leaning to her own understanding, God. Heal her in her mind, even in her heart, God, that she won't be grudging and having animosity and hating bitterness towards Adioko Shandit and like I see. Oh, God, but reconcile your people. Touch Daryl on tonight, God. Even as he traveled out ways and the byways, Father God, as he go to and fro in the Yoko Shanet and Yoko Siaha. Give him the peace that he needs, Father God, and seven that complaining spirit, God. Seven that spirit, Father God, that make him feel as if he is all alone, God. Give him that peace that he needs on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that your will will be done, God. You know any and everybody that you are putting in my face, Father God, you know them by their name, God. You know every situation that they are going through, God. I'm asking you to touch Chancey on tonight, Father God, even in her heart, God. Oh God, that she may consider, Father God, Oh God, spare her life, God, according to your will, God. Spare her life, God. Oh my mind, But only in this Oh God, I'm standing in the gap for your people on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And any and everybody, Father God, that has a me, any and everybody that tried to defame me, any and everybody that has used me, any and everybody that has hated me, any and everybody that has done me wrong, any and everybody, Father God, that he go shut that it'll go see. I'm making you to touch them in their minds and their hearts, God. You say I ought to pray for them, so I'm standing in the gap and I'm praying for them right now, God. With any and everything in me, God, that he go shut that it'll go see. Oh God, he can't let it go see. And he Oh God, he can the local shunned la Cassia. Oh, my man, did it like a shunned local son. He can the local shunned la Cassia. Oh God, I'm asking you to do it. How you are, my man, did it look good? Consider every prayer that's on the altar, every prayer that's on the wall, God. How you are, the local shunned. I'm asking you to do it even now, God. Go down each and every last one of these pews and meet us, Father God, even as we get ready to go forward in Tuesday teaching. I'm asking you to be in our midst on tonight, Father God, that we may edify one another, lift one another up, God. Give us the understanding, Father God, in the name of Jesus, of any and any of the locals. Oh God, help us on tonight, Father God. Because we need you, Lord. We need you, God, like we never needed you before. And I'm asking you right now, Lord, to consider these prayers and all others in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen.